Now usually at this point in the video, I would use the console settings or derive my own settings to get optimized better performance for low to mid-range GPUs. But based upon what I've seen in this game after having played through it multiple hours on GPUs of various calibers, I can easily say that this game is very light from a rendering, shading, and even CPU perspective, and modern GPUs should be fine even with the game's RTGI maxed out. Typical optimized settings suggestions are just not needed here. You could turn down things like RTGI quality or reflection quality and only get minor performance wins, and I would say they are not worth it. Arguably, you should keep everything to the highest in this game as it is not super shading or compute bound usually on modern GPUs. Rather, you should only adjust those things that are memory bound things that affect VRAM. And the most important setting for optimizing there is the streaming cache size option for textures. Context is once again very important, and going back to the recommended spec sheet, there's a good context clue here. Machine Games actually did a good job of calling out this game's VRAM limitations, though I think they could have done it even more explicitly. Take a look at the spec here for recommended settings at 1440p. The 3080 Ti and 7700 XT are actually very different GPUs in terms of shading power and ray tracing, but they are similar for their amounts of VRAM, 12 gigs, and indeed I would say this game is built around that amount of VRAM. So if you have 8 to 10 gigs of VRAM, you can run into issues with the aforementioned texture cache setting. Here is an RTX 3080 trying to run the game's ultra texture cache option at 1440p, and as you can see, the frame rate is abysmal. You can see this happen on a GPU when VRAM is being overfilled, and this texture quality setting is typically set too high. Now, this would probably require testing from you in the audience, but luckily for you in the audience, I have tested many permutations and come up with this handy optimized texture setting diagram. Basically, if you're on an 8GB GPU, you'll want to stick to the lower settings, even at 1080p. With 10 gigabytes on an RTX 3080, you'll want to use the high texture setting at 1440p or medium at 4K. For 12 gigabytes, you can technically run the game's supreme setting at 1440p, but you will have to drop down to Ultra at 4K. This diagram is very accurate in my testing and should lead to great performance with no major issues, barring three very specific caveats. For one, if you look at this chart, you can see how the 12 gigabyte GPU there says do not use the Supreme Texture setting at 1080p. And that's not because it runs out of VRAM, it should technically work fine, but at 1080p I found a bug with this setting where GPUs look like this when running it at 1080p. It's completely broken graphics, so avoid that supreme setting at 1080p as far as I can tell. The second caveat is for 8GB GPUs in general. I do not recommend higher than the medium setting for shadows at any resolution on 8GB GPUs. Now I would never recommend low as I think it looks awful, but the difference between medium and ultra is somewhat small usually. The resolution of the shadow maps is the same there more or less. Rather, the difference is, as I mentioned earlier, there's more objects added into shadow maps on the higher settings, above medium. This can cause potential very slow performance on 8GB GPUs on any resolution when it's above medium, so keep it at medium. The third caveat I have with an 8GB GPU is specific to 1440p. You have to run the hair setting at low on an 8GB GPU at 1440p, otherwise you will also overflow the VRAM in scenes like in the Vatican, where there's a lot of characters running around. In the end, if you keep to the settings I put forth in this diagram, including my caveats for 8GB GPUs, then you will have a very fast and fluid experience with every other setting essentially maxed out in Indiana Jones on PC. Take this gameplay here on that previously mentioned RTX 4060. Only 8 gigs of VRAM, yet here I am at 1440p using DLSS in balanced mode and I'm attaining a nice 60 FPS in gameplay very easily. This is with every other setting otherwise maxed out. The things that are lower are textures, shadows, and hair. The latter two are running at medium and low respectively. And I would say the game looks rather alright usually at these settings barring some texture issues. So what exactly is the downside to using that lower texture cache setting? This setting in id tech gives control over how often textures are streamed into the GPU. On lower settings the cache is smaller, so things are streaming in more aggressively, closer to the camera, leading to lower quality potentially. On higher settings the cache is much bigger, so textures do not stream in as often, and you won't see errors usually. 
In back-to-back -back comparisons of different settings across GPUs, the differences can be large or non-existent depending upon what you are looking at. So take this shot of the idle across three GPUs, left running on low, middle running on high, and the right running on supreme. There's actually no difference for these textures here, and that is what can happen some of the times. But sometimes, like we see in this cutscene just before looking at the idle, the low setting can show a lower quality texture that visibly changes as the cutscene is occurring, swapping in to fit in the cache. Notice how the high setting in the middle though looks exactly the same as the supreme setting here. The low setting can also just end up never loading a high res texture fast enough, as we see here in a previous cutscene, where this character's face and hands never get the high quality MIP to load in as the camera zooms in on his face. This does not happen on the high or supreme setting on the GPUs with more memory here to the right. The one area where high will typically fall below supreme is on distant textures from the camera. As we can see here, the textures closer to the camera on the far left on the RTX 4060 on low are lower quality than those in the middle and the right on the 3080 and 4070 Super. But if we look in the distance in this same shot, we can see that the 3080 on high has slightly lower res textures than the 4070 Super, which is using the Supreme Texture Streaming setting. Typically, if there is a difference in texture quality, it will be in the distance at the high setting versus Supreme. As we're showing here though, the low setting can have textures up close being rather low quality. And this isn't too good looking as sometimes you can just walk forward as I'm showing here and you will see a definite line in front of the camera along the ground where the MIP is changing in an obvious way as it is liberally streamed in. It's trying to fit such high quality textures into a small cache aggressively which leads to this issue. But at high and above I would say textures pretty much always look the same with not too much of anything to fret about. And that is really all I have to say about optimization here. The key to getting good performance in this game is making sure you keep within a VRAM budget, and that is about it. Those are the optimized settings.